The American Airlines flight direct from New York to St. Lucia is touted by Tourism Minister Alan Chastney as one of several initiatives designed to increase airlift to St. Lucia. But how much is that flight costing the taxpayers of St. Lucia? The second deputy leader of the St. Lucia Labour Party says the government is paying American Airlines over $6 million to provide a direct service to Huronora. Over $6 million was spent to bring American Airlines direct flight from New York. This may well explain the refusal of the Minister of Tourism to provide this information to the, to the taxpayers of this country. When you take $6 million of the country and give it to American Airlines to operate flights on an existing route, that carrier can just take that $6 million and put it in a bank account and fly between St. Lucia and New York with two passengers, three passengers, five passengers. Baptiste says the subsidies to the airline are of little benefit to the island's economy. He says the $6 million given to American Airlines is an example of mismanagement of government funds. If that $6 million was creatively utilized in terms of going to North America and finding people to ensure that American Airlines has profitable seat load factor to come here, then those additional seats being occupied by people would now be spending in the local economy. So we look at the net benefit to the St. Lucian economy, which is lost right now by just giving American Airlines $6 million. Tourism Minister Alan Chastney's response to the allegations? Prove it. He is calling on the SLP to provide facts or stop speculating. That particular flight um, is three, three flights a week of 188 seats. If you take it at a 70% um, occupancy, um, and if you assume that the majority of the people that are coming um, on that flight are tourists who stay an average length of stay of six days, that that flight um, is generating somewhere between uh, 30 to $50 million in incremental revenue to St. Lucia. In addition to that, I am comfortable in telling you that the amount of money that we have given to support the American Airlines flight is less per seat than what was given to Delta Airlines. The service by Delta Airlines was acquired by the former administration. Although the tourism minister is not prepared to say how much is being paid for American Airlines, he is mandated to disclose the cost by April when the government announces its estimates of expenditure for the next fiscal year. Shannon Labonne, HDS News Channel 4.